Good morning. Well, I suppose it's afternoon. It's almost two o'clock here in Oregon. Um, so today's Saturday. I rode out. It's like it's been raining here in Oregon, which is really weird because I thought summer started. I wrote out a to-do list for today. I'm working on being more productive. And I think with my brain, the way that my brain works, uh, I have to schedule out how much time things are taking. Because otherwise I'm like, oh man, I can't do that. That takes like forever. And it's only like a 15 minute task. So I'm working on that with myself. Um, I made an appointment to make a phone call with my new primary care doctor. And we talked about the potential for ADD, ADHD, and she gave me a referral. Yay! So um, I'm waiting on a phone call from Counseling Psychiatric, and let's see, I wrote it down in here, call the doctor, and from a health coach, and the health coach will help me um, potentially to set up things like this where I can use a journal make goals, make plans, um, maybe find some accountability people for things like using YouTube has helped, but I think like I don't get the feedback that I, that my brain needs. Um, one of the things with the ADD, ADHD is that if more than, depending on the task, five minutes, an hour have gone by since the behavior was happened then it doesn't it doesn't reflect on our behavior I remember as a kid um, getting yelled at uh, for doing something and I remember getting yelled at for lying and I remember Getting yelled at for lying was less painful and less mortifying than getting yelled at for doing something wrong because when I was doing, got yelled at for doing something wrong, it, especially if it happened like right away, then I, like it actually affected what I had done and what blah blah blah. But if I got yelled at for lying, it was usually there was like this days long gap and I disassociated from the action or the behavior or the lie or the whatever it was that I covered up or whatever I lied about or just the behavior of lying in general. I remember being upset that people were upset with me, but I don't remember being upset about lying. Like I really, there, there was no consequence for lying. Like... That it it I I got in trouble for lying. Yes, I remember that, but I don't remember it making an impact on whether or not I would lie about things. But then, like, I've grown up and I've got morals and things like that, so I I don't lie as often as I try not to. You know, like every now and then there's a white lie or something. Sometimes I catch myself bragging about things. And I kind of think of that as lying, especially if it's, like, not full truths. So, anyway, digressing. So, um, having an accountability partner that can call me on my poop really quick would be nice. So, I'm hoping that with talking to them... Oh, I have a pen in it. No wonder it's not laying flat. Um, will help me. So, I've got a to-do list for today. I even... I don't know if you guys can see this. So I wrote out the time that I anticipate things taking. Um, sweep and mop the floor. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally behind schedule. I expected to be out of bed by 9.30. I got out of bed at 11.30 because I was hitting the snooze button. So, and that's all things that I really, I need to to work on like remember why was it that I wanted to get out of bed this morning and that yeah so and that's one of the things with the ADD ADHD is that you can lay the best laid plans and then 20 minutes forget why you, your alarm is going off that 
says you need to leave the house. Wait, where was I going? Okay, what was the point of that? And so I'm practicing doing things like writing everything down. So I want to, today I'm going to go grocery shopping and I'm going to go look at clothes, the cost of clothes, um, some workout clothes. I need to write down sports bras on this while I'm thinking about it. Cause when I'm there, I like, I walk into a store and I've got the best intentions of doing things. And then I forget why I was there. Sport. Sport. So, especially when there's more than one thing to go and look at. So, the things that I've got to look at today are in the clothing section. I'm going to look at um, some new shoes. I'm looking at joining a gym. So, part of the incentive of joining the gym, $15 a month. How can you, like, beat that? And I think it's a... I think it's under $30 to sign up and then $15 a, a month. And... I, I really need to start working out. This is the least amount of muscle I've ever had in my entire life. And I, it sucks. My, I don't like it. So some new shoes, workout shoes, the ones that I've got, I've been wearing them daily at work, which is really hard on shoes, especially shoes that are supposed to help with your knees and things. Um, some workout bottoms, some capris, or maybe even some shorts. I don't know. I got I got thighs I don't like showing off, but it's, you know, every woman has a thing that they don't like, and it's, for me, it's about the three or four inches above my knees is <laughs> about where my legs start going. I don't like that anymore. Um, some shorts for work, because I work during the summer. There's no air conditioning in my school, so I want to get some work-appropriate and um, rugged enough shorts for work. Maybe some capris for at work for the days that are not super hot. Um, and then some nice capris, some like dress up summer clothes. And I also want to look at robes, bath robes. Um, because with the ADD, ADHD, everything becomes a an obstacle. So you don't have a clean towel, you can't take a shower. And it's not that, like, you could go like, behind behind my bathroom door. I've got clean towels there. I've not used them personally for myself. So, one, I forget that they're there. And two, like, I don't know how they fit my body. And why is that an obstacle? Yeah, it is. I don't know. Um, so, I was thinking if I got a robe robe then I can still because my laundry basket's in my bedroom drop all my clothes in my laundry basket throw on a robe take myself to the shower with my night clothes get dressed in the bathroom and then bring the robe back and hang it back up again but anyway so like that's the thing and then some sports bras I wrote that DMV, I've been living in my new place for about a year and a half. It's probably time to change my address. I dropped my card. Drop my card. Drop my card. Um, ooh. So working at a school that you find things on the floor. I find pens and pencils and, um, so I've got another pile of stuff to buy, which is office supply type things. And on there I had highlighters, multicolors, because I want to be able to do some color coding in my budget and some color coding in my planner. So I put down multicolor highlighters. But since, uh, I don't know, it's the end of the year and everybody's emptying out their, um, their lockers. And I found a bunch of things on the top of garbage cans and in the recycling bin. And, you know, I, I have no qualms. Come on. It's budget friendly. Or if I spot it, like, laying in the middle of the hallway, I'll pick that up, too. I think most of these came from the middle of the hallway. Except for this brand new Ticonderoga number two. That's the fancy stuff. I think it's totally upside down. Yeah. 
Ticonderoga. And I, uh, I snagged that out of the top of a garbage, garbage can was like sitting up on top. I also found some, um, spiral notebooks. One of the math teachers, she likes being able to have scratch paper for all the kids to use. And she says, if you find any notebook paper or any binders or anything, just go ahead and bring them to me. Cause there's a lot of kids in out where I live. There's a lot of kids who don't have any money and just to be able to supply them the stuff to do the day's work is great. And then also to have a pile of scratch paper for the kids that have just enough to do their day's work, but she can offer them scratch paper. And I guess the whole math department uses it because scratch paper in math, very important. Um, so some other things I want to get. I don't know if you can even see this. Come on. Uh, yeah, you can't. It's focused on the thing behind it. Um, a hole punch. A single hole punch. Various size post-it notes. That's more of just look at them and see what's available. And I also want to look at planners. Um, I keep seeing a lot of planner styles. Um, I've got my little... A little made-up bullet journal style thing that I'm keeping now. But I'm seeing a lot of really great videos on Franklin Covey and Filofax and a project management system called Get Things Done by David Allen. Um, you can Google David Allen. You can YouTube Google David Allen. Um, he's got some really great, great ideas on how to turn the elephant into bites. And, um, I, I think if I, if there's like a bazillion printouts, like I guess on Pinterest, I'm not a super Pinterest person. Um, there's, there's a billion printouts like all over the internet, um, of the flow charts, I kind of wrote one down. I call it get stuff done. So you put everything into an inbox and then on the day that you've got scheduled, not all the time, you go through your inbox or it could be at a certain time every day. You go through your inbox and then you sort it. Is it actionable? Which means like, is there something you have to do? Do you have to make a phone call? Do you have to, um, fill it out so it could be an application do you have to pay it could be a bill is it actionable so you put it into um then you ask another question is it will it take two minutes or less to do it complete it um and then does so yeah and then you put it over into your project style so um for example paying your bills a good way to pay your bills would be to set them all into a project, a bills project folder. And then you write down in your calendar a due date. And so that's the day that you're going to do that project. Then you've got, you've got your, uh, all your passwords ready to go. You got, have everything that you need to do to pay your bills. Mine are auto pay. So mine's more of just file that information. But, um, so then when it's not actionable, for example, if it's like, uh, they talk about, uh, reference material. So like user guides and things like that. Um, is it kind of something that you would like to do? For example, uh, my shopping things, they're kind of things that I want to do, but it's kind of like a project. So my next step is going to be go and look at some, figure out the prices, Decide if I can find things at Goodwill or Salvation Army or wherever. And then, but it's kind of like an ongoing thing that I look at. How much I'm willing to spend on things. Sports bras, definitely buy those news. Shoes, definitely buy those new. Planners, I'm willing to look at the planners and then buy new inserts for them. So, um, and that's just kind of kind of a thing. Anyway, um, so yeah, we're at a 15 minute video now. 
But anyway, so that's kind of what I'm doing today. I'm going to go check that out. I'm also going to go grocery shopping, which on my to-do list, eh, you're not going to be able to see it. I'm going to go see it. Um, I wrote down the things that I want to buy today. So some some fruits, look at some fruits, um, get another container of yogurt, get some cukes and tomatoes. Because I was thinking, what do I want for meal prep? I want, I've got some chili in the fridge. I would like to start um, some salads. So that would be greens and cucumbers and tomatoes. That would be good. And some boiled eggs. I have eggs already. And then the fruit and yogurt, which is, I need to buy more yogurt. Um, raspberries are on in our greenhouse. So I will try raspberries with yogurt. Otherwise, I'm going to check out um, if there's other berries available in the store. Our Blueberries don't set until the end of July, mid-August, so we don't have blueberries yet. Blackberries, August, yeah. So, and that's one of the things with the keto. Strawberries are not keto, I don't think, but like the blueberries and blackberries and things like that, within reason, moderation, um, can be keto-friendly because the amount of fiber that's in them um, is very high, so the net carbs are low. So they might be sweet tasting, but they've also got a lot of fiber in them that negates that carb load. Um, yeah. <laughs> I was about ready to digress. Yay! High five for saving myself from going off on a project, and here I am on a project again. Um, so, yeah. So that's what I got going on. I just went and counted my money for going grocery shopping. We've got, what, one week? Next week will be the last week I get paid next week on the 15th. So, yeah, to have, I've got $68 left. And I'm, I budget estimate about... $50 per week. So I've got, I still have a pretty good chunk left. Um, yes, I dug into rainy day and I dug into garden fund a couple times to be able to buy bigger things, but the garden fund is really a food fund. So it's a sinking food fund for me. This is a spot that I can tuck it and not have to touch it. Um, what else is going on? ADD, ADHD, doctor talk, work, not super terrible, got a compliment. Um, yeah, so it's kind of like the big things. I had a lot of tea today, so I'm sure that I'm talking like bonkers crazy, not super motivated. It's raining. It's raining hard. Um, so I just need to, to get out of here and go do that. Then I can come back. Um, my to-do list is all cleaning my apartment. But since I want to go to DMV, I can't do that tomorrow. I have to do that today. And it's already... It's already 2 o'clock. So it's time to get out of here and go do that. Um, that way I can get pick up forms, change of address forms at DMV. And have that sitting here so that I can work on that. And put that in my schedule. Fill out forms. <laughs> um... Yeah. Super awesome. Anyway, um, so, yeah, I, I think I just made this video to check on, check in, share what I have going on. Um, I see a lot of people have, like, their, their YouTube videos don't necessarily show that they've got a life. They've, they're, like, they're, planner perfect or their um, budget budget perfect or whatever. And I think that a lot of us do have lives and I'm not afraid to show that I've got a life. It's not perfect. It's me and my cats. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I am really, really excited about moving forward with a potential diagnosis because if I get a, a, an affirmative diagnosis, then I can be like, okay, well, let's see what we can do. Um, I'm not afraid of taking drugs for getting over the hump, over the hurdle, to be able to get systems set in place. Um, 
Do I want to rely on drugs? No, but I would like to find something that will work for if I have a giant project coming up, like I have to move or I'm super moving forward on some project and I'm just like, eh, what, huh? I can take a med and it will potentially help me to be able to move forward. Just the goal. One foot in front of the other. Anyway, so now we're at our 20 minute video. I don't I always count out how many minutes it is. Oh, maybe that's something I need to add on is, um, <laughs> one more thing. Um, I would like to find, I don't know, I have to find this out. I got bit by a spider yesterday, so we got like a bump. Bubbles. Squirrel. Ball! Um, timer. That's what I was gonna talk about. I wanna find timers. So maybe I should add that on to my things to shop for. Timers. I would like to find a timer that gives me a five minute beep. That's really great. I had one, and my roommate used it until the little the little clippy tabby on the back broke off and then she threw it away and i was just like wait that was that was my timer and so i bought another one and then she gave it to her kid and i was like okay here's the thing you guys don't get to touch my timer one i use it to cook boil water set timer know that you're not going to burn the house down um, why are you boiling water? To make tea. It's okay. You just set a little timer. You know how long it takes for tea to boil. So you set a timer so that if you walk into the backyard, you can know that you need to go back in and check and make sure that your tea's boiling. Um, anyway, so I bought them both timers just so that I could get my timer back and they couldn't find it. And I was just, because roommates, they're fun. They eat your food and they use your timers. <sighs> anyway. Okay. Time to go. Guys, it's really gross. I don't know. Let's see if I can show you guys this weather. This weather. You see the water on the window? Can you hear it? You can kind of see it where it blinks on the on the fir trees there. I'm only happy when it rains. I'm only happy when it's complicated. Nah, whatever. Anyway, alright, cheers.